Hi, I'm Shilton Webb, and this is Glycon. This is a motion capture platform that uses a VR headset to allow you to record motion capture and then use it in other products. And today I'm gonna to show you this um, motion capture being used in several different products. So right now what I wanna do is just follow these instructions here. I'm gonna hop, I'm gonna do this live edit toggle. I'm using an Oculus Quest for this example, but it works in Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, Windows Mixed Reality, and Oculus Quest. So I'm gonna hop into the live mode here, and I'm gonna record um, some very simple stuff. Uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit that button over there on, that's on my controller that says that the one for record, and as soon as I hit that, it's gonna start recording up here. So I'm gonna do that now, and I'm gonna wave at everyone. Hi, come on over, the water's great, or something, I'm not sure. Okay, so now I've recorded that, and I'm gonna hop back into the live edit mode. Okay, and now we're back in edit mode. And if I push outward on the joystick, it will create my laser pointer for me. I wanna come over here to this um, export button right here and click that. And I've got this set to enhance for UE4. Um, I'm going to export this animation that I just recorded once and when it finishes, it's gonna to get to about 87 and it's gonna kind of pause here for a couple of seconds. That's totally normal. That's how it's, it's doing this last little bit of processing. This is a lot faster on the desktop version, but on the Quest, it's, uh, you know, it's acceptable if you're willing to wait a few seconds. And I'm gonna record one version that's enhanced for Unreal Engine 4, and I'm gonna record one that's not. So, um, so I've turned off Enhance for UE4, and I'm gonna click the Export button again. Now, this is going to export the animation for um, the, the UE4 enhanced version has um, a few slight modifications that make it easier to work with Unreal Engine, but slightly make it more complicated to work with Mixamo. Um, if you don't enhance it for UE4, then it's much easier to work with uh, Mixamo. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, so we're done here. I'm now gonna hop into several different programs and show you how to use the same motion capture that we just recorded, which by the way will be stored over here on your, on your device if you're looking for the path. Um, it will be on your machine, on your device. We're just gonna um, move that over to the computer and then take it into several different programs. So I'm going to split this video up and show you that in each of the different programs. Thanks. I'm on the Mixamo website now, and I want to use one of these characters as an example. So I'm gonna use this uh, cool lizard fish lady person thing. Um, and I'm gonna click on download here. And I want FBX with a T pose. That's all it takes. I'm gonna show you how to use that glycon animation in Unity. First, we're gonna take that character we just downloaded and drop that into our assets. Select the character, go to Rig, and change that to Humanoid. Then click Apply. Okay, so at this point, this character is now set to use the Humanoid animation. And now go find that Glycon file, and we're going to drag that into our assets also. And similarly, we're going to go set its rig to Humanoid. We'll need an animation controller. So we're just gonna create an, an empty one here, double click it, and we can drag our animation here in and select our character in the scene and set it to use our animation controller. And at that point, that is all it takes. We're gonna move the character a little bit closer to our camera so we can see it better and spin them around and hit play. So that's all it takes to get the animations into a character in Unity. And from there, you can do a whole lot of other interesting stuff. For more information, go to facebook.com slash glyconvr.